Hi there. In today's tutorial, what we're going to do is to change the Samsung Smart Hub to a different country. The change will only affect the Smart Hub itself, so whatever normal television services you have won't be affected. So in the example here, we have a German satellite TV and a German Smart Hub. This tutorial is going to change the Smart Hub to the UK whilst retaining the normal, well, to be honest, less than exciting German television channels. Okay, let's leave the German apps behind and go back to the normal front screen. Here we are. And press the menu button on the remote. We then select System and Setup. Enter the PIN, which by default is 0000. Choose your language for the menu selection here and go Next. This step here has nothing to do with the Smart Hub and is basically to set your tuner. So you can keep this as it was before. Mine is going to be set to Germany and that shouldn't affect anything else. At which point we can now do a full tuner scan if we want, but um, I'm going to keep this as it is. I don't want to make any changes here. Now this is the important bit. If you make a mistake here or press the wrong buttons, you can go back to the previous step and then forward to this one again to start afresh. But here you must press the key sequence exactly as described in the how-to. And that is mute, return, volume up, channel up, and then mute again. If this worked correctly, you should now have a whole selection of internet service locations to choose from. I'm going to choose the United Kingdom, so let me just go to that. Here it is. And select it. Now, if this didn't quite work, you can always go back and try to do this again. It's very important to have the remote close to the television set. On the other hand, if things did work as planned, you should next come up to the Smart Hub Terms and Conditions page, which I'm going to agree here, and any other ones that may come up as well. At this point, it asks for your postcode. Now, I tend to ignore the step because of the mismatch between my own satellite television services and the Smart Hub being in a different country. Still, if you want to use this feature, you can enter your own postcode. I'm just going to enter number one, which will confuse the system and allow me to avoid this whole feature altogether. If you did enter the wrong postcode, you can ignore any error messages here. They won't affect anything. And now we have it. Success. So if we go back to normal television, we can see the German channels that I had before. Nothing has changed there. That is exactly what we wanted to do. However, if we go to the Smart Hub, you'll see the process begin of the Samsung Smart Hub deleting all the old German apps. This should only take a few moments on the F-Series television. And then the new UK apps start to appear. Or any other store that you happen to install. As you can see here, there's ITV, BBC iPlayer, 4OD, etc. So what I'm going to do now is to test this out on the BBC iPlayer. It is worth pointing out again that services such as the BBC iPlayer or many others from different parts of the world tend to be geo-blocked. To access them, you will need something like a smart DNS service. This will unblock the region and it will allow you to access the television shows. I personally use Overplay because they're configured for many of the services that are found on the Samsung Smart Hubs. It's also pretty easy to set up, which is quite an important thing, I think, for many people. And so I'm going to test this out on a program which has an HD stream. Um, EastEnders sounds good. We can select this. Okay, so let's now toggle the HD setting to on. This can actually be done in the settings, so it's permanently on HD, if you prefer. And let's play the show. It may take a few moments before it starts. And here we are. As you can see, it's a pretty easy process to get this done when things work right. There are a few catches though. You have to make sure that you're on the internet when you first begin the process. And oddly enough, some of the F-Series Blu-ray players and television sets seem to prefer the D or E-Series method. If you're having no luck using this method, try going over to the D or E-Series how-to, which is also on Iron Demand. Also, have a good read through all the comments that have been posted here or in the D or E-Series how-to as many great tips have been provided by other readers that could solve your particular issue. Well, that concludes this how-to on how to change an F-Series Smart Hub country. Hope you enjoyed it, and looking forward to seeing you at www.iondemand.com.